Good afternoon, I'm Corey Duke, and here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. A domestic violence call leads to a huge drug bust for Tulsa police. Yesterday afternoon, officers were dispatched to a home near 41st and Mingo to find the suspect, Alexander Ordorica, in the front yard armed with a rifle and two handguns. After a short standoff, Ordorica surrendered. Officers say the suspect had hit his partner and pointed a firearm at his children when they tried to escape. When searching the residence, officers found more than 25 marijuana plants, among other THC products. Another handgun and nearly $2,000 cash was found in the bedroom. And a vigil was held yesterday evening in Georgia for the victims of the Metro Atlanta spa shooting spree. Dozens of mourners gathered outside Young's Asian Massage, one of three spas targeted on Tuesday, to pay their respects to the eight victims killed. Among those in attendance was Cherokee County Sheriff Frank Reynolds, who got emotional while speaking to the crowd and promised a conviction in the case. A suspect in the killings reportedly told authorities the shootings were not racially motivated, but rather claimed to have a sexual addiction and wanted to eliminate temptations. An investigation into the motive is ongoing. The suspect is currently in jail facing eight murder charges, and he's expected to face a superior court judge sometime in the next 30 days. Now let's get a look at our forecast with meteorologist Annie Brown. Loving this forecast. I'll be happy to show you guys. 60 degrees for the high today. Seasonal average is right around 63. We'll stay in those 50s. Have a jacket this evening if you're headed out. No rain gear needed. We are staying dry. Sunset at 735 this evening. With those clear and calm conditions, lows falling quite a bit. Don't worry though. Spring arrives tomorrow. Earlier dawns and later sunsets. Very pleasant conditions as we look towards the weekend. As we start the work week next week, showers and a few thunderstorms return to the forecast.